The Masters Golf Tournament started this morning, but tonight in the UP, snow still covers the NMU golf course. So how can the teams practice for their upcoming season? TV6's Julie Williams tonight has more. It may look like a life-sized video game, but the golf simulator at Northern's campus is crucial for getting the school's golf team back into the swing of things. We're super fortunate to have it. Um, obviously, there wouldn't be really any other way for us to practice, you know, this time of year. So we're, we're super fortunate to have it and just for the teams to use it. An athlete tees up, swings, and the simulator tracks the spin, trajectory, and the distance of the ball. So this is a very accurate one. They use this one on, like, the golf channel. Um, so it, it's, it's pretty state-of-the-art. It gives a few more numbers kind of to work off of, too, so we can look at those and make some changes with the, the girls or the men's swings and, and go from there. Hitting a ball off the indoor turf is different than swinging on the outdoor green. But the team says practicing indoors is better than not practicing at all. Being in the simulator, we you're always hitting a straight shot. You're never accounting for wind or weird lies or hitting out of a bunker or actually putting on real green. So it is kind of an adjustment, but at least we get to hit. Some people would say it's a disadvantage, and it may be, but this is the best we have, and we just have to work with what we've got. And this coming weekend, they'll head to Columbus, Ohio. Overall, I like where both the teams are at right now. They're, they're in a good position. They're all great kids, so we're looking forward to what the next couple weeks have in store for us. And for Rochester, those next couple weeks will be extra special. I'm a senior, so I'm looking forward to finishing my year out strong and playing my best. The team will hit the course again whenever that snow melts, but for now, they're happy to keep swinging away indoors. Julie Williams, TV6 News, Marquette.